cardiac, single, so we have, there's an intercalated disc, there's an intercalated disc, so this is one cell from there to there. There's another cell, starting here to the right, another cell to the left, single nuclear, I don't know why this thing is so gigantic, that makes no, no, that makes no sense to me. Single nucleus, uh, how deep is it? Nice and deep. See, it's way into the cytoplasm. So deep, single deep nucleus, let me say. Uh, the red lines, the red perpendicular lines, are the striations. So they are, they are intracellular. Striations are inside the cell. Uh, intercalated discs are paracellular. They're between the cells. Uh, or intercellular. And what else? Again, we've got capillaries here in red. Capillaries permeate the endomysium connective tissue, and then the mysium actually wraps around individual cells. So you see the nuclei of the, uh, the endomysium connective tissue cells uh, here. Uh, let's see. So intercalated disc, meaning there's one cell to the left, there's a neighboring cell to the right. That's where they join. And another postsynaptic autonomic neuron, because cardiac muscle is also autonomically innervated. So postsynaptic autonomic, again, not enough information to say whether it's sympathetic or parasympathetic, autonomic. Um, and, oh, bifurcations, okay, we can actually see. Look, looks like we've got a bifurcation going right there, a split going right there. And I'm not really clear on the bifurcation business uh, here. Right there. Okay. Uh, so that's about it for cardiac models. Again, we've got smooth muscle slides, cardiac muscle slides with intercalated discs on the, the back counter. Um, any questions about smoother cardiac models?